Hello, everyone. We're live at Epic Headquarters. I also want to say hello to all of you in the future who are watching on YouTube or <laughs> listening to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I always forget to say hi to them. Hello from the past. We have, we have quite a group here today, and we have something really exciting to show you. Um, first, we have Steve, and we have Sid, and we have Jim, and we have these absolutely gorgeous hats from... Let me see. I have to look their name. They're from Jamal and from Maker Premium, and he sent these all. These came all the way from Malaysia. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Michelle, could I have one of the uh, other hats too, so I can show people? So yeah. So we have some some, some really awesome hats. We're talking about having these done for our next community event, and maybe even possible for the store in the future. Yeah. So <coughs> let us know what you think, and thank you so much for these hats. Everybody loved them. We fought over them, and they're awesome. Yeah. Pete Neb won the battle for the red team. Sid won for the blue team. You're yeah. <laughs> And you can see the red hat on Pete, on Pete Nub's Twitter feed because he put it yeah. up yesterday. Yeah. At, that's at Pete Nub. Uh, let's see, E3 is going on this week and it's been absolutely incredible. There are so many Unreal Engine games there. Yeah. And so it's, it's, been, it's been a super exciting uh, E3. We're glad that we could pull you away for a few minutes to come, <laughs> come watch us <laughs> instead. I think it's only because the, sh the show floor is not even open yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, East Coast, West Coast. Yeah, yeah they, had, they had a PC gaming show on yesterday, and they showed a bunch of new hardware that's coming out. So it's a really exciting time for PC gaming, which is awesome. They had this little tiny computer with huge GPUs in them, yeah. and it was like, <coughs> my head was Oh, like really? Split. Like the opposite? That's funny. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really great. That's so cute. Yeah. Okay, really excited for what's coming up in the future of PC gaming. So first of all... We are going to take a look at an old map from UT 2004 that's been remade by JO Plus, and that is CTF Pistola. <laughs> Yay. Let's me fire it up first. Have we gotten permission from the original guy to... I heard he's a jerk. A bit of a hard time <laughs> I heard that he's like, no. Uh, we had to go through the EULA and get the permissions. It was a real yeah. pain. <laughs> he, was, he was being a bit harsh about it. But yeah. So yeah, um, we had a playtest on this last week, I think, actually. And it was quite apparently. a little fangirl moment, um. <laughs> being able to play this map in the room with the same people who actually made it. So that was that was pretty awesome. So yeah, I know Jay has been playing this with a lot of the com CTF guys, so it's getting it's getting a ton of playtesting out in the wild, lots of iteration. Um. And Jay Jay is a pretty competitive player himself he's he's yes uh, i didn't actually know before he came to the last community event that he's a kind of old CTF school guy, comp yeah. ctf guy as well so it's always awesome to have a combination of guy that has art skills level design skills and also is a really mm -hmm. passionate player because yep that usually helps people understand elevate themselves understand the game and therefore also the design implications much better than and you also notice that there's not like a lot of things sticking out to catch on and <laughs> stuff like that yeah, so he went and basically took the outpost assets and uh, is putting some of an industrial spin on them. And they um, fit perfectly in this map. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. Uh, I've given him some feedback so far already. He's making some tweaks and changes. Um, and I'm really excited for the, the next version to come out and see him play. But so Has he made any layout, layout adjustments? So I'll be... <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit that part of this I probably don't even remember properly anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I could probably comment on some of this stuff and completely talk out of my butt because I'm not, you know. So I think he changed some stuff around with how the armor is situated. I'm not actually sure what it yes. was like in the original. Um, I think it was actually just sitting in there, but I'm just going to look... Uh, questionable talking about <laughs> that because <laughs> I don't actually <laughs> have, like I said, a decent memory about it. But um, so there were a few weird things here, like really like the armor elevated up here, but in the current implementation, there's like some weird snagglies actually landing up here properly. Um, yeah, you yeah, can I get stuck in that, that in that too. One thing that I'm pretty sure wasn't there in the original actually is being able to just yeah. straight up translock through here as an attack route, or which I did like actually when we were playing. Yeah. <coughs> I grabbed a couple, yeah. grabbed a couple flags through there that way. Um, no window sneakiness on that one. Yeah. One other piece of feedback that I've given him before too is like, these used to be 45s and walkable in the old version, but now that we're half more interesting slope interactions, stuff like that. I gave him the feedback of, hey, what if these were actually a little bit steeper so you could ride them and dodge into them and kind of you know catch catch some dodge speed towards them. the flag or away from the flag, and then hit the jump head at the end, go up. 
Um, some of these here, I think, were a little bit easier to platform in the past. Like, these guys are a little bit thin, maybe, and I think they actually have round collision on them as opposed to something that provides flat ground, so you kind of do get the a little bit of sticky going on there. I love how the lighting shows up on the top there. may also be harder with us having a capsule now, like yeah. that combination yeah. of the collision. And yeah. Do miss flat collision once in a while. It's not going to change. <laughs> 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 Before you ask. Yeah. It was so um, great seeing this map again. So yeah, and for really the midfield, really he, the old map was completely outdoors, just sort of, you know, encompassed by rocks with an open sky, and he turned it into this cavern-like thing with cracks, and one side is open to the outside, the other side is enclosed. Um, overall, the map looks really, really promising, and, and he's got tons of good clean meshing going on, and I think it's it's a great great direction and great for a start. The outside is probably the thing that still needs the most amount of work. Um, just in terms of actually getting some good shapes in here and, and it just kind of looks like overscaled meshes right now that were cobbled together to make yeah. a cave. Um, same with the terrain, like there's some painting going on that has, you know, some sort of indication of paths, but it still feels rather hot potch at the moment. Just kind of um, could use some better overall direction, maybe actually flatten the terrain a bit more where the path is going, add some edges, some trimming, make the path a little bit res recessed. Um, but yeah, some of these were actually a little bit hard to hit as well. Um, so it'd be nice to have the terrain a little bit higher to make these a little bit more reliable as well. Um, but yeah. Um, it's a super simple layout, has been, still is, but it's quick and fast pace, and I think he Lots translated to play. he translated the dimensions really well to uh, our current movement, etc. Um, yeah, when when we played third, it was it was funny to me that you know we are obviously hypercritical of this type of thing because you know, being so involved with the the early creation, you you, you notice every change and every little thing that's that's different, yeah. but at the same time. We had so much fun playing, and people were constantly screaming and talking and communicating, and yeah. just it, it's was, nice it was really fun. Nice so. and fast-paced because it's relatively small. Um, but yeah, definitely really excited to see this evolve, and you know. Heck yeah, man! That was it was a lot of fun <coughs> playing in there and, and getting a shot combo mm -hmm. off on uh, this yeah. trail. Was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, super solid direction and everything, yeah, and I think one. he's gonna he's gonna kill it once yeah. he's done with it. R really, really excited to see. Will we be able to play this one on Friday? Um, <laughs> or no, because it's not in the new. Well, we're still in the. Well, we'd have to download it and install yes. it, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. But let's plan that for. Depending on maybe not for this for Friday, but sometime soon. Depending, depending on whenever he gets this next playable version out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we had we had a lot of fun playing with you guys on last Friday, and we're looking forward to doing it again this Friday. Yes. Definitely. Bring more people. Bring yeah, yes. bring more people. We um we had more people. God, every server I had was overfilled. We should uh, <laughs> post on Facebook also. Let's try to get more bigger audience. Bigger audience this time. Yeah. What do you guys say? Mm. I don't know. No, that'll it help stop us. Stop getting into games. <laughs> well, but we can. People can start more games, right? I mean, people yeah. were just weren't starting new games because they were filling up the existing ones. But yeah, we we also want to see this as a uh, opportunity to test um, you know, hubs. bigger hub counts and how how the hub works with that. Those. So it's really uh. Yeah, we encourage everybody to c come out, bring your friends, you know, get some fragging in. It'll, and you know, we have lots of different skill levels. I thought it was, yeah, it was really fun. We could get into make Matt swear. Yeah. <laughs> 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 come, come make Matt swear. It's not that hard. <laughs> I know it's not really. Yes. <laughs> or even better, the, the mouse slam. mouth. <laughs> yeah, the mouse slam. <laughs> That always makes me so, sa so satisfied that. when the I the when rage I hear meter that. is counted in decibels. Yes, exactly. Mouse slams, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> next we're going to uh, talk about uh, some uh, oh project update from Steve. Is that next? That oh, is next. Okay. Um, so I guess I was going to talk about um, just a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, so we are trying to wrap up and get to a new build, a uh, big new feature. It's going to be the replay system. Um, there's been tons of stuff. I mean, it's been three weeks, I guess, since our last build, so there's been tons of stuff. I was going to talk a little bit about a couple things I've been working on that uh, I thought might be interesting uh, with uh, movement updates and networking updates. Uh, but yeah, the replay system is going to be the big thing. I think there'll be, yeah, new, ma new everything. I guess there's there's tons of uh, other uh, um, improvements in there as well. Um, yeah. Announcer, stats, um, 
the um, the hub. The hub. Everything is, looks yeah, different. Yeah, uh, map vote. Yeah, there's map tons vote. of stuff. So <laughs> I won't go through the whole list because I didn't prepare the whole list, but I'll talk a little bit first about movement. So the um, first thing is there's been a number of tweaks uh, to movement. These are relatively small, but um, overall, I mean, kind of done together. The uh, slight increase in acceleration, um, a slight increase in, uh, well, this is not movement, but related, uh, slightly faster weapon switch time, a little bit higher air control. Um, those are things that are not huge changes, so I don't know, people who want big changes, I don't know if you guys will be satisfied, Weapon but um, all cool. changes that we, th we felt like were good. Um, and again, we try to do these, we, we, we generally make a change and then let it rest for a while and get a feel. And the, uh, but the bigger thing that, that happened with movement is I went back and spent some time trying to polish and get up to a really playable level, the uh, uh, slot floor slide and wall slide. Uh, with floor slide, uh, so now both those are controlled, aren't no longer controlled by shift, they're controlled by the jump and crouch button. So floor slide is controlled by the crouch button. Uh, the idea being if, you, if you're running, you tap crouch, you will slide. If you, are, if you hold crouch or if you tap it right before you land off of a dodge or a jump, then you will slide off that dodge or jump. If you, but that is only if you're currently pressing a movement key at the same time. So if you want to do the jump and land on a platform and not co go off the ledge, you can still do that. You just hit crouch, uh, raise your fingers off the movement button right before you hit crouch, and then that will register that that's a, a, a crouch rather than a slide. So slide requires that you're moving um, at a reasonable speed and that you're pressing a movement key when you um, engage it. Um, also the uh, walls, uh, the other thing, oh, I guess the other big thing with uh, crouching that changed was that um, we did some tweaks to the um, the speed of the crouch, um, <laughs> but not 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 all uh, not all down. So the the thing is now is now the uh, the slide speed is um, based on the slope you're sliding. So you basically slide slower uphill, but you slide uh, fast and you slide faster downhill. So in, in cur it, it's a more natural thing. Oh, gravity! Yeah, <laughs> it gives you some. Actually, there's <laughs> another change in there too. Yeah. Um, we unified the crouch height and slide height as well. Oh, that's right. Yep, that yeah. was on my list. Sorry, I'm, uh, my, my list is kind of messy, so it's hard <laughs> to <laughs> get through. But yeah, the crouch and slide so height are the same. Everything down. They're yeah. in between uh, where they were before. Not necessarily exactly final, but yeah, we did make the decision yeah. to unify them. Where we are now is probably pretty close to where we are. It's it's a uh, 1.1 meter height now. So I guess to so explain a bit from a level design perspective as well, um, previously you could slide underneath something that was 100 units which made things like windows that you can shoot through but not <laughs> want people to pass through pretty hard to actually <laughs> build. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you know, no real good example there. But, yeah. um, but now I think we're currently at 120, so it's nice to build, you know. I think it's 110 oh. now currently, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hmm. Okay. But it's still <laughs> above 100, <laughs> so, yeah. As long as it's above 100, yeah, it'll <laughs> work nice for level design. Then there's also the concern of just making the slide good with Anims that actually don't look like somebody's just clipping through yeah. anything because unless you squish the guy yeah. down to the floor, you're never going to make it look like he actually fits through a space like that. Yeah. So is um, this going to change gameplay a lot for ma maps that are already done? Well, it just basically means now you can crouch it, you can slide it, and the difference being if you manage to have enough ground to slide before you enter that space, you get the speed advantage of coming through faster, yeah. right? And crouch is kind of the inching through, but certain maps may need to be, you know, like Leah, where yeah. you can slide if into the if door. It may need to if be people have built slightly. slide spots before that were relying on it being super tiny, squishy, like a hundred, they'll have to change that to make it work. Um, but I think overall, it's the uh, it's the right direction to go to make it easier to actually reliably design for yeah. for these scenarios yeah. and. Uh, It'll it'll All make things better and easier and look more polished and yeah. yeah. Um, and then wall slide is now there's no longer an auto wall slide. It's now controlled by holding the uh, the jump button down, which wasn't being used currently if you're in the air. So if you go up against the wall, if you're holding the uh, jump button, you have to initially, when you hit the wall, be accelerating, sli pushing slightly into the wall to engage the wall slide. But once you have as long as you're holding down uh, the jump button, you can actually look out from the wall as you're sliding and, and slide along. The slide is also a little bit longer and flatter than it was, and it's uh, and also now when you engage, it rolls your view slightly, so you know you've engaged the uh, wall slide. Um, overall, I think it feels pretty good. I mean, certainly needs. I mean, we haven't really 
refined it from a gameplay balance, but I think the, the general feel of the movement is Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see how people react. The first time I did it, I was like, whoa, what's going on? The whole world <laughs> shifted. But then when, it, when you get used to it, it starts to make yeah. really good sense. It might, be a, it might be a little bit extreme right now, but yeah, yeah. but it's, it's, it yeah. communicates a lot better than it did before. Yeah. Well, before it didn't communicate at all. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, we also so have um, some, speaking of communicating, we also have some new effects, um, and we're going to be continuing to add. Yeah. So right now, they're, I mean, they're just preliminary, but we have a, a sli floor slide effect, so when somebody's floor sliding, there's a nice little particle effect. When somebody wall dodges off a wall, it leaves a particle behind, and that helps the readability of what the player's doing, and that he just dodged off in what direction he's going. Um, Actually, up and coming for that, too, we have the hooks already to differentiate between wall run items and just wall preparedness yes. items, where he puts the hand up against the wall currently. Yeah, yeah so, the um, so, so the wall slide will have like so a little... So hopefully for the next build, yeah. we'll already have at least a stub anim for, you know, running along the yeah. wall for the slide, so you can really tell what's going on. So that'll, yeah, I think that's all uh, definitely moving in a good direction. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to remember to mention. Did I forget anything? <laughs> <laughs> Were you going to talk about effects? Uh, networking? Stuff? I am going to. I, I okay. was just trying to get oh. through my, make sure I don't. Yes. Everybody's okay. saying, let, so let him finish movement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so networking. So um, biggest thing is I fixed. There was a firing synchronization bug, which I believe was probably the major cause. I think this crept in uh, about a month and a half ago but probably the major cause of people complaining about the mouse feel in network games. And what was happening mm -hmm. was there were cases where the fire would happen one frame of movement off from when the movement happened. So you would basically would fire on a different frame than you did on the client. So where your client's going like this, your fire would happen here, even though you meant for it to happen here. Um, so fixing that, I think, is going to uh, have a really nice impact on feel. There's a bunch of other optimizations and little improvements that I've either done or are still working on and hoping to get into this build, but that was really the biggest thing. Another uh, nice uh, significant change um, that helps both with um, animation and some of the, um, the nice uh, movement transition animations that Aaron has done is that I'm now replicating, replicating a compressed version of acceleration to the client. And so that helped also, uh, along with animation, it also means that now I can use that to improve the predicted uh, velocity of, of other players on the client side, so that improves the reduces the air a little bit of when you see other players moving around. I'm still tweaking that. Um, I think I can make it better than it is now, but uh, it's definitely also a nice little improvement. And um, yeah, also new replicated system for client side of movement effects. So think that uh, enables things like the the floor slide effect and things like that. Um, it opens up the possibility of doing more interesting and complex sets of effects um, supporting uh, different movement modes. So um, that's you know starting to already um, give us some benefits, but uh, hopefully a lot of more benefits that we'll discover as we awesome. continue development. Um, so those are the big things. Um, you know, as again, as I mentioned, we're trying to wrap up the major changes for the build this week so that we can start our test process and our plan is to have a build out for you guys next week. And I'm excited about Did that because it's going to be a Chris? really, a lot of really nice improvements <laughs> to the build. So I'm looking forward to getting it into everyone's hands. That's awesome. Chris, Chris UT4 was wondering if it was <laughs> <laughs> really new build, new build, build this new build. Week. I know that's a surprising thing. Yes. <laughs> I, I, he's never he never asks questions like that. So whenever yes. he does, the uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was um, Matt put some some time into creating <laughs> bot personalities. Yeah. So the bots should now, I've been trying to go through it and, and kind of assign them all from the generic one that he, the base one that he created, but the bot should start having actual personalities yeah. now. So when you see a bot with a certain name, it should, you can kind of learn its behavior and its skill yeah. level and all that other stuff. No. Um, along with that, we actually want to start filling out the roster. So have more than just one uh, Thunder Crash and one Black Legion uh, character in the game. So there's a, a th new thread that we started in the forums. We're hoping by summer we can actually get the community to help us out and build some new character models. Yeah. Um, so we released the source Yay. art so people can go and check that out and kind of use that as a baseline to help fill out the rest of that team. Yep. Um, so you're welcome yeah, to grab that source art and use it as a starting point to create your own characters. Mm -hmm. um, we you're welcome to, to use the existing girl, roster. Please. You're welcome to create your own brand new characters. We yeah. don't care. Um, I would love just to see what people come up with. Uh, the only thing we ask is that it, if you're going to build a Thunder Crash character, make it look like it could fit on the same team as uh, the character that we have. If you're going to build a new Necros character, make it look like it could fit on that same team. Yeah. Server issues. Sorry, someone had to 
bring it down and try to bring it back up. I'll go okay. Sure. All right, we're having some server issues. Oh, so does that mean that we're actually down? Probably because of E3. Which I think is down as a whole. Like yeah, the, the chat hasn't updated in like a couple of minutes. Hmm. Okay, yeah. so should we just keep? Yeah, just, just keep rolling okay. Can you hear us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody respond in chat if you yes. can hear us, because right now we see nothing. Yeah, it's, uh, I think we might have e reached the end of the internet. Yeah, you, it's down you guys have probably recorded. <laughs> we've reached the end of. But the are we still <laughs> recording, so we can. We may still okay, record. So keep going, so we can. People right. can see yeah. the. We'll keep talking right. to you, even yes, though you're, even though you're not, there. not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not awkward at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Wait, this is actually no different than... Uh, never mind. <laughs> 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 uh, so okay, anyway, so we, we were talking we're about characters, and make sure you... Are you going to post a thread? And yeah, there's already a thread in the forums. There's one uh, in the character art uh, section of the forums. So you can check that out and see kind of what we're looking for. Um, and then there's a link there to a secret location where you can download the source art, um, which basically just means you have to agree to the EULA so you don't use them for your own nefarious purposes. But um, you can use them for making cool UT characters. When are we going to have characters taunting each other? Oh, Steve and I have talked about that vaguely, and we, we're working <laughs> on it. Uh, I think, and I agree with what he was saying, more importantly is getting them in and right. um, so that they have uh, team responses and stuff so they can actually tell you what's going on in the world instead of just taunting you mercilessly. I remember yeah. just going to bed at night and, and hearing all those taunts in yeah. my head <laughs> as I was falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, which actually reminds me, we've also started the process of... Um, finding new announcers. So uh, again, give us some feedback. If there's great announcements that we haven't thought of that, you, that have to be in the game, we want to know about it now because we're going to start recording soon. Um, they won't awesome. obviously won't be final, but we'll be much, much closer than the temporary stuff that we have in now. Okay. Networking stuff, or is that it? That was it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a screenshot to show you from Victor Borson, also known as Poly Neutron. Uh, we did a whole story on him on th on the blog, and one of the pictures he did was a um, panoramic view on Outpost, and it's absolutely beautiful. So we're we're gonna show you a look at that. And right now, our thumbnails on the blog lead to other thumbnails. We're, we're working. We're, we're working. Are on they bigger thumbnails? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, You may have noticed size. that we updated the web page it's recently. Our new, it's our new it's Russian doll did. approach to <laughs> <laughs> Each one is open smaller than one. the last. This one, then open this one. <laughs> so I will get another link up to this this image so you guys can, can grab this. It's it's amazing. It's you, you're only seeing a tiny thing on the screen, but the, the thing is like it's like eight thousand by four thousand or something like that. So it's it's gorgeous. So we'll get that up and we'll get the rest of the the thumbnails fixed soon. Also, the Frag Center now is now directing to the new CMS and. Um, we're keeping that updated, so if you have, we put the new frags of the week up mm -hmm. from Zacubus. So if you have any cool frags of the week for next week, make sure you reach out to Zacubus and get them up there because it, this week's good. It's all air rocks. And keep posting week. videos in the forums. Uh, we've been checking periodically every few days and getting some new content up. Um, so go for it. All right. I think that's it, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Check out E3. Check out all the Unreal Engine games on E3. Wait. That's okay. We can do that next week when we actually have people watching us. Oh, or yeah. Oh, that's right. Why don't, we, why don't we wait on those till next yeah. week since we don't have anybody so here? Yeah, we also and had some Q&A, we promised you, but since the stream seems to be uh, going up and down right now, I think Twitch is probably overwhelmed yeah. with it's E3 stiff. Um, we're going to do your Q&A Q &A next week. We have questions from, so you know, uh, we have questions Cafe. from Cafe. Booyaka. Booyaka. Cassio <laughs> Hen <laughs> and Zocom. <laughs> Zocom's yeah. questions are the tough <laughs> ones. Oh, they're back? <laughs> are they really back? Are you guys really here? <laughs> Did they all leave? For how long is 2 Yes. Why don't we just wait? Let's yeah. do the Q&A next week. And we can't yeah, see chat. When we so guys are, yeah, yeah, cause yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice to be able to respond sometimes yeah. to what people are, what people are asking. Yeah, so we're doing that, we'll, so. we'll do this next week. Hold on okay. for that. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Great.